What's up, everyone? This is Discord, aka Kobe, aka Anfell, here to bring you another Korean news update. So today, or I guess it's yesterday by now. So yesterday, Korea released a brand new pet gachapon featuring a brand new pet, which is called the Fox Lot Pet. That's what they call it in their desktop Google Translate calls it. But I'm gonna call it the Fox Trot Pet because I think Fox Trot sounds a lot better, and probably what they're gonna name it when they move over to the global servers over here. So. uh yeah, so this is the sale page over here. So this is the Foxtrot Pet box. There are three different Foxtrot Pets. The one to the, left, the very left over here is the one you get for free, or free, I say, it's included if you buy 10 Gachapon. And then the one in the middle and the one on the right are obtained at a certain rate in the Gachapon. Uh, let me put Google Translate. Number one doesn't show up when you hit Google Translate, unfortunately, it's like hidden behind the text. But uh, when you, I'll show this a little in a little bit, but when you summon the pet, it will. What will happen is that it does a mark. It marks all enemies in that summoned area, and for ten seconds, and all enemies that are marked will take five percent extra damage. Its first ability is called Splendid Dance. It will deal fifteen hundred fixed damage to all enemies in the area, and all enemies will be marked with the same debuff. So they'll take five percent more damage for ten seconds. And for 15 seconds, you will increase your max damage, your magic attack, and all alchemy attributes by 15, which is pretty solid. It's a little weaker than the whale debuff, but the one important thing that you'll see in a little bit when I demonstrate the pet is that uh, this debuff doesn't knock back enemies. That is a giant uh, change compared to the whale, whale debuff because the, one of the reasons why I don't like the whale debuff is that it knocks back enemies. Is that practical unless you're fighting a boss? So if you have this pet, you can just summon it or you can just use a splendid dance and it won't knock back enemies. If you're like, if you're like, um, you know, using flame burst or using final hit or, you know, just, just using explaining slasher even, uh, splendid dance is a lot more useful. And this pet will uh, have a more consistent usage for its debuff. Its next ability is a special gift. When you throw it on a special gift, it will uh, aggro all enemies to the gift, and uh, for eight seconds, and after eight seconds, all enemies uh, the gift will explode, and all enemies that were uh, aggroed onto the gift will lose aggro for about five seconds. And then it has a little cute animation. And it has a normal attack that uh, throw attacks enemies from distances. It's a little slow, but it attacks from a from a pretty decent distance away, like something similar to like a uh, a, a a jack pet. There are also two new variants of pets. They have the wizard. They have a summer wizard corgi and a summer uh, vacation warrior corgi. And I think they're pretty cute. The sunglasses are <laughs> especially kind of hilarious. And Wizard Corgi is especially a lot cuter than the uh, normal Wizard Corgi game, in my opinion. So here are the rates. You have a, in Korea, this this will probably be different when it moves over to the American servers, but you know, who knows? Uh, you have about a 7% chance to receive one of the, fo or one of the Fox Trots, and another 7% chance to receive one of the Corgis. And you have Mirror Dragons, this is a Kiranus. This is a Tuan, uh, Band Floral Fairy, Golden Wagon, which is the food truck, Battle Pegasus, Pink Cheetah, it's kind of a miss, uh, Black Flame Mare, also kind of a miss, the Festival Fox, uh, which I would I would prefer to call it the Balloon Tail Fox. <laughs> You'll see when I summon it in a little bit. And then you have the Festival Little Hopper. So overall, it's an okay gacha. Actually, it's pretty it's pretty good if you can get one of the one of the big ones, right? If you can hit like the top 20% ish, then you're kind of chilling. The other items are a little bit disappointing. Um, the fox is especially disappointing and the pink, the pink cheetah is disappointing. But other than that, you know what? It's passable. It's a pet gacha. It's always, it's always a good time. All right. So we're going to go into Mabinogi. I bought a few extra um, gachapon to show you guys what it looks like over here. So I bought six extra gachapon. I'm going to see what we get. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll check out my phone a little bit. Probably, a, I'm gonna guess this a Tuan. Probably a festival little hopper, I'm about to say myself. Band Floor Fairy. And you got a little chair. Uh, something else. Something else. 
And we got a wizard. Oh, we got a got a corgi. Okay. Now let me uh, make sure. I use a Google Lens to translate all this. All right, what do we got? So this is a mirror dragon right here. So this is a mirror dragon. This is a pink cheetah. This is another pink cheetah. This is a little hopper. This is the warrior corgi, actually, not the wizard corgi. And this is the band floor fairy. And you get a little, you get a few dies instead of an exclusive pet pouch. Kind of unfortunate, but you know what? It's all good. I'm gonna name it Corky Fowl. Oh, look at it go. Corky. Come here. It's a Corky. Look at it. It's got huge shades. Said the command. Uh, I believe it's functioning the same exact thing as a regular Warrior Corky. Which is kind of cool. Alright, and now we'll get to the actual pets themselves. We have, I have the Arctic Fox, the Arctic Arrogant Fox, and the the regular Fox Trot. So it looks like this. It's very dapper. <laughs> it's pretty cute. So, we're gonna sh uh, when it rests, it turns into a little, uh, little gift box like that. Pretty cute. When you, uh, you can mount it too. It mounting looks like this. So you kind of fly alongside it with balloons attached to you, kind of flies along like that. This is how fast it goes. I think it's about as fast as a Corgi. And this is the running speed. All right. I think we're going to go test out, uh, show you guys what it's like to use this pet real quick. Okay, we're in Shadow Wizard. Let me sure I heal my pet a little bit. Throw it in, throw it in an HP pot. All right. So we have, we're going to showcase uh, especially the Brilliant Dancing. This is the debuff effect that also does fixed damage. So we're going to test that right now. I'm use a little vibe for this. Just not getting a little vibe. There we go. Okay. Uh, first off, we're going to show off the range tech. That's not being ranged in this screen. Like that. So it attacks from a range, and that's how fast it attacks. It doesn't seem like it adds knockback gauge, which is kind of important too. Yeah, it doesn't add knockback gauge. So this is when this is uh, the dancing, brilliant dancing, splendid dancing, or whatever yeah, you like to call it. So it kind of works like a smokescreen effect, where you can select an area like this and click. It'll add a little mark to every enemy that gets hit. You see that there. And they'll take increased damage uh, as long as they have the mark on. And the mark lasts 10 seconds. And again, the uh, amplification is 5%. So make sure you, you know, don't miss. <laughs> um, I think it's a lot better than the whale pet for sure, though. In terms of damage amplification. Because the whale pet's very hard to use. But the fox is very easy. You kind of just throw out, you just throw out the effect and then... Yeah, you're just gonna get them. It has a 90 second cooldown too, which isn't awful. All of the whale pets do have the healing effect ability, which is very nice. Uh, the the ability to not knock back stuff is probably way better. So this is the gift. So as you can see, they start targeting the gift box, and then once the gift box explodes, they'll drop aggro. See, as you can see right there, they drop aggro for about five seconds. Okay, so where's the raccoons? And the last thing I wanted to show off was the summon effect. So when you summon the when you summon the Foxtrot pet, it will do the same. It will apply the same mark as we had before. Oh, there's someone here. As you can see, it applies that same mark that uh, it applies when you use uh, Brilliant Dancing. It has a little red effect, and uh, they'll take five percent increased damage for ten seconds. Note that this summon effect did not deal damage on summon. 
and it did not stun them on summon. It didn't do anything except apply the debuff on summon. So it's very different from a tradition from like one of the uh, newer pets that they release nowadays. This is the first pet in a very long time that does not do damage upon summon. Right? This is the first like new gacha pet that doesn't stun, doesn't do damage. All it does is just add the debuff. So it's a little bit tricky to use. Um, it just not being able to like you know just get out of a tricky situation with the damage and stun from the fox from like a regular pet and having to choose between doing damage or in stunning or just adding five percent more damage for ten seconds is a very significant cost and i like the design choice that they made for that even though i wish obviously i wish it was more powerful of course everyone likes power if it does damage on summon then it'll be a much better pet and it'll be stronger and it'll stun a little bit and you know all that good stuff but as of now it's a design if it's a design choice i like the design choice i think it's a good trade-off and then obviously it doesn't do anything on the summon the one last thing i want to show you guys is the applause because it's cute puts you in a little ball kind of puts you in a circus and then the fox trot is there like hey everyone <laughs> everyone come in and then one final thing i have to show you guys is a stupid fox pet i've never seen this fox pet before it's an it's the nine tail fox pet Except it's bad. <laughs> uh, it's it's fluffy fox tails are replaced by balloons. Yeah, it's kind of a weird design choice. I don't know why they did that. And, uh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Otherwise, it's, it's exact same as the regular night tail fox pet. On that note. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video about what the new pets do and uh, what the rates are and everything like that. I I need to I will reserve my opinions on the fox trot pets once they come over here to the now and Alexina. But overall, like oh that's my true opinion of course. But overall, I think these pets are decent. I think I like them better than the whale pets, but I haven't used them alongside whale pets to figure out how good they are compared to them. Like if you have to choose one, of course. And, uh, yeah. But until next time, friends, I'll see you guys later with another Mabinoki video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And there's someone in the background that's really flashy. <laughs> and, yeah. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye-bye.